Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly market update for Wednesday, February the 16th. Happy Wednesday. Happy, happy FOMC day today. Another wild day. Um, <clears throat> my night to do videos is normally always Wednesday night, so I always get the Fed reaction and all that kind of stuff uh, in the video, so that's always kind of fun. <clears throat> and today was no exception. Uh, as you can see here, let's zoom in here a little bit. Uh, the and this was not a Fed day. This was just FOMC minutes from the last meeting, right? <clears throat> um, so right here is when the uh, FOMC minutes are released, and we kind of chop around just briefly. And then we start going up and kind of consolidating, and then we take off, right? Pretty big move off the low there. You can see that low. Uh, four, four, two, five. Uh, let me see. We went to four, four, eight, five. Well, that's pretty easy. 60 points. <clears throat> so we had 60 point move off the, off, you know, from low to low to high there, but that's in the last two hours of the day. So that's pretty, you know, it's a pretty good move. Um, so what, you know, so what happens now? Well, and why, why did that move happen? And basically the fed, uh, or the FOMC minutes, were kind of reaffirming what uh, Powell has been said has been saying about the pace of uh, rate hikes and reducing the balance sheet and all that kind of stuff. And the market doesn't like uncertainty, so there was nothing that they could, I guess, pick out of that that was any different than what was already out there. <clears throat> and if you notice, if you follow this, uh, you know, closely, you know that FOMC minutes typically aren't that big a deal. Um, today was a pretty good move, and I figured it would be, you know, just because of all of the action and interaction with the Fed that we've been having lately. So, you know, we were kind of on our toes waiting to see what was going to happen here. Um, so, anyway, it was uh, it was a little bit more than we expected. We actually did get a really good trade here. We scalped this into the end, uh, made a little money into the end of the day today. Uh, but that's what I've been doing lately, and that's what I've been saying in all these videos is that um, you know, we've been doing, uh, as far as the bias trades, which is the trade service that I run, um, you know, we've been using smaller size, less risk, um, trying to scalp things, uh, faster, you know, when we can make some money and, uh, and get out very quickly, just because this has been such a haywire market and we don't want to get on the wrong side of it. So that's, what's been working. And I think that's, you know, that's what makes sense. And also, you know, again, from a, uh, um, from a risk uh, standpoint, you know, typically, just to give you an idea, typically, you know, a normal trade we would do would be somewhere between, you know, probably say $10,000, you know, $7,500, $10,000. And now we're doing trades that are $2,500 to 5,000 kind of size and making, you know, 500, 750. We made 2,000, we made 2,300 on one last week. Uh, so, you know, it's, you can still make money on small, you know, small size. So anyway, uh, but the point is to take, you know, take the profit when you get it in this market, because it can be taken away from you very, very quickly. So let's back this up and look at it here for just a second. And I want to show you a couple things to, to notice uh, as we get, we've been trading in these zones. You see these two lines right here? This is, these are our uh, skylines, <clears throat> our voodoo skylines from here to here, that light blue to light blue. And we come up after this rip roaring. I don't. I don't even know what this was uh, that prompted this. Is the light gray is overnight session. The dark gray is the normal session during the day. And um, and then we just kind of trade in this range. You know, it's kind of normal. But you see this one, snow line to uh, excuse me, skyline to snow line here. We trade in this range, right? And so forth and so on. Once you get in these ranges, it's easier if you recognize the range and if it stays in the range which they have been lately uh, to kind of trade back and forth but you got to be able to switch gears very quickly you know switch from uh, bullish to bearish or long to short or whatever um, and then back and forth and again this is a um, uh, it's a good market for trading it's not such a great market for investing um, but I have been nibbling on some things and watching some other things so you know if you look at this what I think is going to happen let's go back here to a 20-day chart and you can kind of see the same thing the zones get larger snow line to snow line we were talking about this little line a minute ago but 
this the white lines or snow lines snow lines to snow line we've kind of for the most part we've been here we've had this little section here uh, between these lines and these again these are voodoo lines which are based on Elliott wave um, so you can kind of see patterns so what I suspect will happen I think especially after today's pretty bullish turn there I think we probably keep going and we probably come up here back to the snow line maybe through to this upper level where we've you know double dipped it before or double topped it before uh, maybe I don't know you know it's all still very um, we, we have to take it day by day and all that kind of stuff because we just don't know in this market but again if you're going to be in this market you've got to um, kind of understand what to look for and you know again be willing to kind of come in and out quick you know on shorter time frames with smaller profits and all that kind of stuff and and again just trying to preserve capital and keep you know keep the risk low and that type thing so that's the way that I've been handling it so again if we look over here and go out a little bit further and this is the ES we'll look at the NASDAQ in a second uh, same thing what is likely and to be aware of is we come back up to that snow line that's at 45 38 and this is the ES right so 4 5 3, 3, 8, and get everybody in here long and then take this back down and you know my first target would be this October low right there and second target would be down there at 4100 if we fail now I still think this will happen whether we fail here or we keep going and we fail here or we keep going and fail from here or we keep going and fail from here I still think we revisit this area um, unfortunately and I'm bullish but you know unfortunately I think that's kind of the way that it's going to play out uh, the you know part two of that is is that going to take you know two weeks or two months or six months you know who knows um, and, and we really, there's really no way to know. Uh, we will obviously base everything on um, news events and the Fed and all that kind of stuff. You know, we've got the whole Russian thing uh, kind of hanging out there. We've got interest rates and inflation. You know, every time we have CPI, it's going, it's going higher and higher and higher. You know, 40-year high inflation right now. And, you know, and, it, and that doesn't include uh, the everyday items. So I think the real inflation is, you know, probably more around, it was, uh, CPI came in at, what, 7.5? And we're probably around 10, 10.5 in reality. Uh, with food prices and fuel and all that kind of stuff, but um, anyway, we you know we know that, so we have to keep an eye on that. Um, you know, the, this market is. Um, someone asked me if I'm bullish or bearish, and I said yes. You know, because I think we go higher, but I think you know that'll be sold, and and we ultimately come back down. So, you know, all that being said, um, I would suggest to kind of trade this thing the same way, and if you're trading it. Um, you know, trade smaller size. There's a time to get super bullish and there's a, or super uh, loaded up. Like for example, here. Now this is a pretty clean run. This is a pretty clean run. You just buy any pullbacks you get. You, know, you buy any pullbacks and you, and you just keep you keep making money through moves like this. You know, once you get into all this craziness and zigzags and everything, big question mark. You know, we just don't know. So uh, size smaller. Take you know, take profit when you can. That type thing. Um, if we do go back up to those higher levels, I'll probably be starting to do some black swan kind of stuff on the downside and go out maybe six months or something like that. Um, but we're not quite there yet. So uh, anyway, um, that is what I've got for us. I hope that helps. hope it makes sense. Gives you kind of an overview of the market. We still have some earnings coming out. Uh, we had NVIDIA, today, NVIDIA and some of the other ones today. Uh, but I'm not really trading those earnings just because you get, you know, earnings are always... A lotto ticket anyway, a coin toss, and then you put that on top of a wacky market, then it gets you know even worse. So um, again, just be careful out there. Watch your size, and um, come join us in the rooms if you need help or uh, you know you're not making money trading. Come see us in the in my room, the bias room, or in the main room, the simpler trading gold room, and or any of the other rooms. We got a lot of great traders here, so check it out. We'll help you. That's what we're here for. So thanks for the time, guys. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me.